Hello! Well, I've just gone and broken low by in a spectacular fashion. There were so many sales this year and I found quite a lot of art goodies on Super Sale, so I'm going to show them today. I was not expecting to do this as a whole, but I seem to have accumulated quite a few things. Judge me if you will, but I regret nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it! Starting off with some paper, the first pad of paper I bought is this one, De La Rowney Smooth Heavyweight Paper for Drawing, and I just really want to get back into doing more coloured pencil pieces. The drawing paper I already had is actually quite rough and heavily toothed, and it can be a bit of a nuisance for doing lots of layers of pencil on, because you get the white of the paper showing through underneath, but this looks really nice. It does have a little bit of tooth. So it's not as smooth as some paper I've seen, but it does look so much smoother and I think this is going to be really good for coloured pencils. I guess time will tell because I have not yet tested it out, but I thought this would be a really great one to try out. It's 220 GSM, so it's nice and thick. The next pad I've got is a Montmartre oil and acrylic pad. It's got 20 sheets of 350 GSM paper and I was looking at the texture of it that's quite nice. I really only have one other pad of this kind of paper and it's an A3 size so I thought an A4 would just be a lot more useful even though I could cut the A3 down into A4 but I am running out of it so I just picked some of this up. I've never used this particular paper before and I think this will be really great for doing some oil paintings on. I would like to get back into oil painting as well also using some of my open acrylics on here and I find that paper is just a lot easier to store than large canvases. Canvases just take up too much of my studio whereas papers eventually once it's dry I can store it in a folder. So that was the reason for getting this. And the last paper pad I got is this Color Fix Smooth by Art Spectrum. This is designed mainly for pastels but it's got quite a nice surface to it. It's not as rough as other pastel paper but what I didn't realize until I just opened the plastic off it now is each page also is covered by a sheet of glassine style paper as you can see here and I'll just gently peel it up. So here is the color fix paper underneath. It's got a beautifully smooth texture. There is a little bit of a bump on there, but not too much. This is so good for oil pastels, but I'm really happy that this also comes with the glassine cover and that's on each piece of paper so that it protects that lovely sticky oil pastel. And if I ever use dry pastels, it will be good for that as well. Because it was on sale, I thought I'd get some because this stuff is usually quite expensive. Nick and I were in Bunnings, which is a hardware store, and I saw these two boxes on their clearance section for significantly discounted prices. There is a pastel color set and a regular color set in oil pastels and it looks like it's a whole kit so I thought these could be really fun to do and I could not resist these very pretty boxes that they come in but I'd never seen these before. I don't know if they're any good or if they're just a really cheap and nasty. I guess we'll find out in a video at some point. I went to another store, The Art Shed, which I have not done a tour of yet. I'm hoping to do that this year because it's a really great store. And they specialize in selling Montmartre products. Montmartre is an Australian company. And I've already shown you the acrylic pad, which I bought there. They had a sale of up to 65% off things, which was pretty good. And so I looked around for some of those items and other things that were half price. I don't know that this was one of them, but Montmartre products do tend to be relevant relatively cheap and affordable in Australia at least. So that's why I picked this up, but I'll show you the other items that I bought from the art shed. This item is not actually Montmartre, it is by Marabou and it's these candle liners. Now I actually bought these for a specific reason because our nephew is also our godson and in the orthodox culture at Easter time it is tradition to give one's godchild a candle so that they can light it for the Easter celebrations. And I just decided this year I really wanted to decorate a candle so I found this in a clearance pile and it's 
a candle liner so you can actually draw on a candle with it and I have no idea if they're going to be any good but I thought this would be just something I can try and hopefully they will actually work not too sure what I'm going to do yet with them I need to find a big plain candle so that I can decorate it probably with blue and red but I might use all three colors we shall see I don't know that I'll be showing this on camera but I just thought this was really interesting because only the day before I'd been thinking about decorating a candle but wondering how to go about it and then this was just in front of me it's just like it's fate <laughs> so I'll put that to one side and I'll show you some other things they had this irresistible tin of watercolor postcards I mean how beautiful is that I just thought that was so pretty and I do love a good tin it is reflecting off my studio lights but it's a bunch of postcards and they are 100% cotton which is always great. Here's what the paper is like. It's cold press. It's got quite a texture. I've used Montmartre cotton cold press paper before and it's really nice so I thought I'd give the postcards a go if only just to keep that tin. <laughs> And there's 24 cards in the tin. I bought another tube of black acrylic paint because I always seem to go through this. And the signature range by Montmartre is really nice. I've liked their lamp black a lot. I did look at the other colors, but I just don't need them right now. So I decided just to get the black. And that's just to restock something that I was running out of. I'm going to move that off camera a bit because it is really messing with the lights. These pencils were on super sale. They are six neon colored pencils by Brunzeel and it's still got the tape on it. Of course, I didn't realize that one moment while I cut that off. Oh, those are so bright. I don't know why I need these, but they were just too cute and I thought these would be fun to use in a sketchbook. Next up is something that Montmartre has only just released and they happen to have them in the art shed, so I thought I would get them. It's two sets of watercolours by Montmartre in what they say pastels, but it just looks like regular colours to me, and metallics. So I may end up giving these away at some point, but I really want to try them out and see what they're like. These look like they've got quite a nice sort of sheen to them and yes I will definitely do a video on these soon and I'll just test out both sets I also really like the plastic containers that they come in so I may end up keeping them but we'll see <laughs> it's hard to know until I've actually used them as to whether they're going to be any good here was something else that was on at super sale it is a marker lettering set give it a whirl and it's just basically a whole bunch of pens I think and a pencil by the looks of it I'm gonna open this one All right let's see what's in it Oh yeah, that's not too bad. There's even some paper by the looks of it. Hang on. Okay, so it's got some calligraphy practice sheets and they're on a slight slant like that so that you can practice your calligraphy writing, which I could always do with some more practice. And then there's a whole bunch of different markers, what look to be brush pens, dual line lettering pens, some maybe gel pens, and I'm not too sure what these are. I'll just pull one out. Look like relatively thick markers. Oh yeah, look at those. That's a, th a thinner nib there. I'll have a play around with these. I can always use new pens because I do run out of them quite quickly. I'm not sure that I'll do a review video on this. I think I'll just pull the pens out for personal use. But do let me know in the comments if you want to hear more about these pens and maybe I can do something with them. So I'll just put that to one side. I have one more thing. That is another thing on Supercell. Hexagonal Supercell Paint Pouring Kit. I thought this would be really fun to use. I already have some of their paint pouring paint and they're quite fun but they have created ones that automatically put the cells inside I've never had any luck making cells with paint so I thought this could be fun to try out and see if they actually work okay actually it shows on the back what there is it does have some hexagonal canvases a little silicon pouring cup some mixing sticks and some of the paints I'll just have a quick peek inside oh yeah that looks like it could be a bit of fun. I think I might make a video out of this and we'll pour the paints over these canvases. So this looks like a whole video right here. Well, here's everything on the table and it just won't fit on camera properly, but you get the idea. So now that I've had a shopping spree, it is time to pull my head in and actually do some videos using all of this stuff, along with all of the supplies that I showed in my Christmas haul. Oh my goodness me. I didn't even know what to start with first. Probably some of the things from Christmas 
and then I'll move into these. Some of these items are just going to get used throughout the year for various projects and I probably won't make a specific video on them but you will probably see them in upcoming videos because I always need surfaces and the rest of them I will make individual videos on especially these watercolors and this super soul paint pouring set and maybe these oil pastels as well. So if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and you might want to click that subscribe button so you don't miss all of the fun that I have with these supplies and if you want to check out the Christmas art supplies haul video it's just up here and I'll have another video over here as well. So I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you all again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!